it showed like scattered and we might not get the rain, but when that goes through. Hey guys, it's May. Am I on? Hey guys, it's May May. And my trusty sidekicks. Yes. Over ah. both of them. I said to myself, <laughs> self, we're going to pretend like we know what we're doing today. We're going to check our mic. We're going to check the streaming. We're going to check everything. And she pretended to do that. And then she said, am I on? What is that? She's so funny. We're all here today. Shannon's back. It's almost, It almost feels normal in here, doesn't it? What's normal? Boom, boom, boom. No normal. We I do not, not know normal. normal. Today, we're going to play. Um, oh, y'all are chatting. That gets me distracted. Today, we're going to play. We're going to make something for your table. Yours will be cuter than mine, but here's why. You'll get to use actual silverware. <laughs> and you'll have a fork. <laughs> I went to put silverware in this, and we have one of those, like, from the store, three-tier, I mean, three-divider spoon, fork, and knife situations. There were no forks, so you can see what we use all the time. We had cake. We did have a We've had a lot of treats over the last little bit. So, you would put all these in here, and this is just a little napkin, a paper napkin. But I think this is cute, and what I want to do is show you two options today, okay? Option number one, I'm going to show you how to make it in a second. But this one, I made with plain cardstock. This is just yellow cardstock, nothing fancy, it's like 65, 80 pound. And I use this stamp set because you may not have the paper pack I'm fixing to use. I'm gonna show you this paper pack and oh my goodness. But I used a stamp set. So you can see around the bottom here, I did some leaf stamping and I did my my famous fall dots. Those are my favorite. And then you can see I did thank, thankful that you're in my life and then the little heart and the leaf. And I think this is super cute and easy to do. And I wanna show you what I used to make it happen because I have realized over having our retail store that you guys literally want to know the color and everything I use. It helps you. So this paper, the yellow paper, came from the Astro Brights multi set. So if you have the Astro Bright multis, that's where that yellow paper came from, which is not that bright in person. Like Shannon's yellow shirt and this are really blown out. I don't know why I don't they wear shouldn't yellow. be. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't mustard. Wear this Her shirt is mustard, but yellow's blowing out. This is more yellow than mustard, but it is blowing out. Then, the stamps that I used is one of my new favorites. I used this one. It's called Blessed Beyond Belief. I love this little set, and I think it's super cute for this. Um, and then I used the little heart punch. You need these in your stash. This is like, listen, when you're looking for stuff to get over the holidays when everything's on sale, this is the kind of stuff you want to do is get this kind of evergreen stuff you can use all the time. So, and these are the colors. I used a corn. I use summertime, I use golden meadow, and rainforest. So those, those are my of colors. You that don't recognize any language, that's acorn. <laughs> a corn? A corn. Do you know how long ago that was? I think that was before Shannon when you did that. I Probably think it was. So. If it was, I want to tell y'all something, okay? These inks are pre Shannon. Okay. I, I have not re inked them. They have been on this shelf. I picked them up and I use them four times a week. Easy. They've lasted a very long time. Well, some of the inks we used for Make It for the Holiday Open House um, were their inks from home. No, they were these. Well, there were some mixed. There were a few that were. No, from, that's true. I did your bring. Craft I brought my stash back home. home. I, you haven't. You haven't, I haven't stashed touched home those. in a long time. I haven't touched those in a long time. <laughs> The, I know that you may think, gosh, that's expensive for ink, but it's good ink and you won't have to re you won't have to replace it. Like, does anybody remember when I did these the first time? Listen, these are the first inks I ever opened. So if you follow me long enough to see me rave about these inks, they've never been re-inked. Never. That's just amazing to me. Because I was thinking that we were talking about it at the, um, at the open house, how we're using my actual inks in there. Amazing. Okay, so there's that. Let's talk how to make it. Now, so Shannon's having Thanksgiving at her house, okay? And she's thinking, do you want to use this paper pack for yours? I might. Okay. Shannon's thinking that probably should get me one. She would. I think you could. I think this will be enough. Yeah, yeah, it should be. I don't think you'll need another one. We'll see. So let me just show you this, okay? She needs twenty of these guys. So we're going to make twenty-one because it'll be even that way, right? Is that not right? Now we're blurry. Oh, now we're clear. Is that right or is it not right? Would you tell me? What's an even number? Seven pages is 21. Okay. So we need seven pages out of here because we can get three silverware holders from one page. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run through. 
I love this page because it's super cute and I might can use it somewhere else. So I'm not going to pick it if I don't have to. Now the back is great. It's great. But I'm going to put it aside. This one, we're looking for AB papers. Remember when I told y'all about that? AB, you have an A side and a B side and there's no cut aparts. That's what we're looking for. So there's one. Wow. If our internet's blinking, I may need to plug my phone up. It just kind of blinked to me. Did it to you? This to me is an AB paper. This is not a cut apart. This would be really cute. So there's two. Oh gosh, there's three. There's four. This is an AB. That's five. Now this I don't want to use. This is super, super cute. Look at that. Oh, it's recipes on. It does. Oh, they did this right. They did it right. Ah, oh, finally. Look. Recipe cards. Here's your ingredients. All this information and the and the directions are on the back with room to write. That's cute. I need a whole paper pack of just this. Yeah. We're gonna have to con. Who's this? Simple stories. We're gonna have to call them. Simple stories. Here's what we need. All right, tags. I don't want to use those because I want to use tags. I'm probably to the point where I've got to salvage a page, one or two pages. Two. Yep, these are all cut apart. So they're really cute. Look at these. Look. Home is where love resides, memories are created, friends are always welcome, and family is forever. That reminds me of that story we read yesterday. This she, is a gorgeous paper It's pack. absolutely gorgeous. And can I tell y'all why we got it? Y'all are like, you're bringing in fall paper late. We are. Let me tell you why. So I have scheduled family photos for the kids and I when Jared and Sam are home for the holidays. And we chose our, pa we chose our color scheme of what we're going to have our photos made in. And I was online looking at paper packs and look, this is literally what we're trying to accomplish. This color scheme is literally us. The mustard, the gray, all, this is what, and I said, y'all, I found a paper pack to match. So now I have something perfect for. For those of you that say that you need this paper pack, you want this paper pack, it is available online now. It just came so in today. It just came in today. Taylor's already got it online so you can get it. I'm one sheet shy, but you know what I'll do? I'll add a polka dot or something. Um, yeah. Matter of fact, I have this one to use, and I bet I can add. I saw this piece that I think would make a good, it's the size we need. And I think it will match, and we can still use the stickers. Cutesy, I think cutesy. it will. Don't you? Yeah. Okay, so this paper pack is the one I'm going to get from Fall Dots and Stripes. I'm going to take one scrap that will make the extra one that I need. I only need one, right? Is that right? You have six pages. That's 18. Oh, so I need two. So we'll have to get another piece. We'll figure that out. I'm not making all of them right now anyway. I'm just showing y'all yeah. how you can do it. And then the stickers. We're going to use the stickers. Okay. To the paper trimmer, Batman. Bum, ba, ba, bum. This is a simple one. You don't need a whole lot. And you don't have to even open your trimmer. I just realized that. We don't have to open it. I love those projects. All right. First thing I'm going to do is cut off the branding strip. Just like these. You might want to hang on to that because we. you might want to use it. There's, I mean, oh, look how they strip. did it. Look, all the writing is on this side. All the pattern is over here. If you flip it over, pattern and writing so you don't waste anything. Got like a decoration That's strip. pretty cool. Yeah, for these even. Yeah. All right, we're going to cut it down to four inches. All the way. So you'll get three from a sheet. Don't we love that? Yes. I do too. One, two, three. Then we're going to go to our trimmer. Watch how quick this is. Shannon said, maybe I should just craft while you're doing. <laughs> oh, I should do this. Hold on. Let me do this. How should I show y'all? I'll show you a single. Then I'll show you how to mass produce. So here's a single, okay? Put it in your scoreboard. And then you're going to score it at these places. What did I tell y'all? Seven. Hold on. I don't remember. I don't either. Hold on. Seven. All right. You're going to score at seven. Then three and a half. I got to measure, y'all. Yep. Three and a half. So it would be seven, eight, nine. All right. At ten and a half. Seven and ten and a half. You're just going to do those two score marks. Seven and ten and a half. But let me show you something. If you're going to make this like we are, so many of them, you can do this in mass. I'm cutting the branding strip off of my page. I'm going to put this in the right way, which because this pattern goes this way, 
That means I want to score it this way. Okay, trust me. So I'm going to score the whole page at 7 and the whole page at 10 and a half. Makes it even go faster. Okay. Oh, and then when you cut, mm, your scores it's are already, already done. Scored. Smarty pants. Well, it's how I like to do it when I'm mass producing. Because you can make them so quick. You just got to make sure you put the paper in the right way. There's a there's a hundred thousand percent chance I did not. There could be. I could have done it right. You did it right. There's a chance I didn't. You did it right. You did it. You did it. All right. So look how quick that was. I mean, that's six cut that fast. Let's play with this one. Let's see if I did it right. Let's see. Okay. Now I took, you don't have to. You can dig in your stash and do whatever you've got, but I took the scallop punch. I love the scallop. I think it's fancy. So if I need to do something fancy, I use the scallop, which is this side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and punch all four corners. To me, this is the kind of thing that makes people go, you made this? You know, just being rectangles, one thing. Why do you have a black line on your scoreboard? Oh, so if I ever need to score like on the diagonal, I can line up the top with the bottom, if that makes sense, and I can use that. It just helps me to get, especially for diagonals or, or corner folds, stuff like that. Helps you to find your spot. Yeah. It's hard to find a single line and follow it. All right, we're gonna fold on the seven. We're gonna fold up on the seven. This is gonna sound like music. Like dance, fold up on the seven Step and up. down on the ten and a half. Yeah, okay. Look how cute. That is precious. Makes itself, doesn't it? That is precious. Makes itself. I really want to ink it. Yes, you do. Okay. Don't you hate it when it happens like that? Yes. Here's why I want to ink it. Watch I this. Really want to do this. Watch these. I don't ink that fun. <laughs> If you ink it, especially when you have these pattern papers, everything will show better. Oh, I may not ink the top. That's so clean. It is. See, that just made that edge show up even more. So pretty. I may not What's ink the name up of that there. Punch you just I like used, babe. Stop here. I think I want to. Stop it's here. Stop. I haven't heard of that one. <laughs> no. That is the scallop and stub, or as we say. Crocodile, scallop and stub. Punch. Don't we call it the, the scub? The scub and scallop. The scallop. The, scub, the scub and scallop. scallop. Okay, here's what I did on my previous one. I took sticky tape, and the reason I did is because this is gonna get some pressure, constant pressure, because the idea of it is, it needs to be tight enough to hold your silverware in, so I feel like you have a better shot of it holding up for years to come. See, not just one year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because what are they going to do? They gonna, oh, they're going to take the silverware, take it out of here and sit it aside. As long as you collect them at the end of the meal, you're going to lose one or two. Somebody's going to spill something. I will spill something. That's just how it goes. Now, when you put your glue down. Or they're going to like it so much to take it home. They can take it home. That's another thing I thought. If you did this and added another pocket, you could put like an after dinner mint. Aww, so That'd be cute, wouldn't it? Everybody you know I'm a big fan of an after-dinner mint, too. Big fan. I hear you. All right. So, you probably don't need that at Thanksgiving because after-dinner mints at Thanksgiving is pumpkin pie. Everybody needs a York. <laughs> you didn't think that was your after-dinner mint at Thanksgiving pumpkin pie? Well, I mean, I like Yorks any time. All right. Like I'm only putting two strips of adhesive in the section. I have to show you this. Not the back section. Not the front section just this section that's all you need okay the middle. love and the middle love the middle child yeah the middle child spot and then Brynn yes we did get some help for the shipping department a new young lady started this week all right now here's a trick you've got to do okay either bring your silverware in bring a piece of silver in but here's what I would do take your ruler all right place it at the fold and this is, gonna, this is gonna make your space. Fold this down onto your ruler first, okay? Then press the sides down where they are. And then you're gonna train this paper that that's where you want it to live. Take your um, bone folder and burnish. 
Now, you can punch this again. You can come right here. I did that on my previous one. I just think anytime you do that, it's cute, right? Okay, so there's your pocket. Plenty of space in here, and it's not too much space. I originally was going to put my bone folder in there, but it's too thick. And that's why I went with the ruler because it's much thinner. Someone said you could put a pocket on the front and make it a name, you know, like a place. You still can because at it. this point we're fixing to decorate the front. Yeah. So you still right now could do a name, an initial. If you have the monogram stamp sets, you could do an initial. It'd be cute if like you're hosting at your house and you wanted to do like your H mm -hmm. or like your monogram on here or something. Or here's what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're going to go to Ben and get a scrap piece of cardstock. This is where I love to use scraps, okay? And we're going to make this little strip that is, I don't remember how big I made my strip. Not that big. Where is mine? Right here. Let us measure. Oh, I did do an inch. Okay. So we'll do an inch. And look, out of this scrap piece, I'll get several. This is why I love to go into the scraps first. And I did that one at, I don't think I did three and three quarters. Let me see what I did do. Why do I never pick up my ruler, right? Ever, never, ever. Ever, never, ever, mm -mm. ever, never. Ever, never, ever. Three and a half. So an inch by three and a half, if you're doing what I'm doing, you don't have to do it just like this. Then, and look, if you don't have all of these fancy things, use your printer. Just print something out to fit on it. Okay. I'm going to go to my stamp set. I'm going to use Thankful. What did I use? What did I use? That you're in my life. For those of you saying that you haven't received your monthly stamp club set, uh, if you'll email Amber at info at my man made it with that information, uh, she can research and I will tell y'all get something fixed. It's that time of year with the post office. We, I'm yes. gonna listen to me, Lindis. You hear me? I am not a politician and I am not big box trying to sell you something. You need to hear this from me. I am a person who orders every product in our store online. Every product we carry comes online. Our shipping has gone from three to four days to seven to eight days getting to us, haven't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, because we have been waiting on a, our um, order from our vendor. It was supposed to be here Monday, and it showed up today. So, I mean, it was, and that never happens. Never happens. And listen, these are orders with tracking. These are orders with tracking that say it'll be there Monday, and it showed up today. This is happening all over the place. All of you guys are going to say it too. When they're telling you to order early your Christmas stuff, they mean it. I'm almost thinking, I may just figure, I'm going to do what Brenda's doing. <laughs> Her Christmas is going to be a lot easier than mine. I'm telling y'all, and I, like I said, I'm not big box. I'm not Amazon telling you this, trying to get your money. I'm telling you, if you are ordering and having something shipped to you, you need to expect delays. Expect delays. And... Order, order early. And uh, something tells me that, you know, uh, first class mail is going to be gonna slower be, than that. Sl first class mail is going to be, is always the one that takes the brunt. Always. Track mail usually does better. Or FedEx. Huh? Fed my FedEx has been FedExes extremely are bad. slow. Bad. They're not making it up, y'all. Oh, yeah, Brian, we didn't take it as you were complaining. Oh, no, 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 no. We didn't no, take that no, in a negative no, 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 way no, no, no. at all. No. I just wanted you to understand, you know. No, no, no. As far as it's I remember, those went out on do. time, so you should be, you know. It's one of those, uh, my mama called them teachable moments. When you said it, it made me go, by the way, you need to tell them this. It's not, I didn't feel that, I didn't take that as complaining. We, yeah, You I guys are so awesome. If, like, our emails let us know you are patient and you are kind, yeah. and we all appreciate that. It, it's just where we are. And the big thing is we've been told so much junk in the past couple of years that we don't know the right from wrong. I just want to tell y'all that's one that is for real. Why okay. Are we buffering? We could be because I'm not plugged in. If I need to plug in, I can. I haven't yet. Okay, let me show y'all what I'm doing. I just think this is kind of cool. This kind of modernizes your craft. Okay. Can you see right here that I did that line and then the three dots? It, it's just kind of a design feature, okay? So what you'll do, I did this with my ruler. Because the ruler has a grid, I love that about the, the ruler. Pick wherever you want your line to be and use your grid on your ruler to help you line up straight at the bottom of your 
cut, um, what's this called? Your sentiment strip, we'll call it that. And then just on one side of thankful, do a line all the way out. And on the other side, do a line all the way out. And if this is not your thing, don't do it. I just think this adds something. And then I did three I dots. Like fancy. It, it's just it's just one of those touches, like a corner rounder, you know, or something like that. It's just an extra something. All right, and then this guy it's goes right design, here. Look how cute. Oh, my so goodness. Precious. So cute. All right, let's glue this down. Yeah, no, that was not, we didn't take that as complaining. No. Nope. We're very happy we have our help. She's doing great. Her name is Kelly. She's really doing awesome. She's a worker. She is just really doing a good job. Thomas and Jenna could not be happier with the help. They keep raving about her. We we are very, very happy with that. So we should be ready for Black Friday, for the week after Black Friday, I should say. Okay, so stickers. I think we use stickers on this. Where I use the stamp set on the other one, on this one I want to use stickers. And there was a flower. Look how cute this is. Look at this little flower. <gasps> it's perfection. What? All right. I want to pop it up. Pop I, it up. I think it'll be cute popped up. And I had some little foamies. Come here, my foamies. St like sticking up with my homies, my foamies. Okay. <laughs> that was just me then. Wow. Um, you have a question? Sorry, I was reading. I was too. <laughs> Cheryl says, when your ink pads are really Sorry, juicy. Homie. How do you keep the ink from getting into the insides of the letters on word stamps? Don't press so hard. Cheryl, watch. About 25,000 of my viewers that are regular viewers are facing to tell you, kiss it. You kiss it. I'll show you in one second. Kiss it. All right, I'm going to stick this down. And that's that. Look how stinking cute. Precious. I did not powder the sticker. You are welcome to powder the sticker. I just took my fingers and kind of got some sticky off. If you want to powder, you can. Hold on just a second. Let me show you. I would use cuter, but stick your napkin in. Something that would, would you use cuter. No, we're going to use plastic and we're going to use plastic is fine. Napkin. Plastic is fine, but that napkin is not. <laughs> that napkin is from our dispensers in yeah. the restrooms. It's not good. I just needed something in there. And it, I don't really, I don't know that I'd put that in there, honestly. Um, depending on the napkins you use, look how cute it is just to have your silverware in here. And, like, if you did it like Especially this. Especially if you got some of that colored plastic silverware. Yeah, like, I bought bronze at Walmart the other day. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cute? Put that in here and lay that, that like that. That is if you don't want to break out your fancy stuff. Love this. I think this is super cute. Let me tell where this idea came from. They want you to do one for Christmas with a Christmas paper, too. Already braining it. Okay, listen. Braining it. Saturday, if y'all don't mind, <laughs> I have another idea for this that I think would be cute for all tables, but especially the kids' table. I saw an applique that we could use here to make it Thanksgiving, and of course I'll do a Christmas one. But if y'all don't mind, I want that to be Saturday's video because I didn't get to do it today, and I think it will be precious. So look for that Saturday. So if, you're, if you want to make these for the adults, and then what I'm going to bring you Saturday for the kids, you can. All right, that's that. One for Shannon. We'll have to do 20 more. Unless okay. we do some kid ones. Yes, we can do kid ones. I mean, I have five kids. So Let me show you about stamping. Adults. Some people don't teach this way, but I do. Because I'm like you. I don't like when my words turn into a blob. I want to be able to read my words. So here's your trick, okay? When you're inking your stamp, do not twist. Everybody's going to tell her, don't do the twist. That's what we say in our classes. Um, don't do the twist. Also, if you'd like to take a stamping class with me, there's one on my website. It's called Stamp Right Up. It's like, what, $9? So like $9, good. something like that? $9.99. $9.99? Okay, look. Tap, 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 tap. We are kissing the ink. We are not pressing and turning. A lot of stampers out there press and turn. I will say this. If you have a good ink pad, like I, all my ink pads are fantastic. I only use the ones I think are really, really great. That's just me. I use them, right? Y'all know that. Yep. I bring in what I love. Does it mean it's the only ones I try? No. The other day, it was funny. I was doing a video. What was I doing? Something, and I was like, I should bring this in and let them see I'm testing out this tape. And then I was like, no, because it'll cause so many questions. That's the only thing. When I show y'all what I'm testing, it causes so many questions, and sometimes I'm just <coughs> like, I'm not going to invest in that one, right? So good, juicy ink pads. Tap, 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 tap. And then when you stamp... 
You sit it and you do not overpress it. Some people, look, I'm not putting any pressure. Some people will like squish, squish, squish. Don't overpress it. All you need to have happen is it to kiss the page, okay? The other thing is let your ink transfer. Make sure you do that. You don't need to rock it or wiggle it or anything and then just lift up, okay? And I wanna show you how crisp and clear my stamp is. Look at that. That is crisp. If my, my phone, there it goes. That is crisp and clear and covered. And the thing about that is when you over, let me show you an over stamped. We'll over ink. I'm twisting it in there, okay? Oh, and look, you always do that when you over ink. Always, always, Don't always. clean it. You over ink. I'm not, I don't <laughs> want it ever, because the problem is it won't go on my paper, it'll yeah. go on my mat. All right, and now I'm going to show you how to over stamp. And I see people do this. This number. And I want to show, oh, well, that was really exaggerated. Don't do that. That was exaggerated. But you see how bad my stamp is? This don't even count. But one thing I will show you, because I really over, I really overdid this. But right here, what I will show you, that little line is called a halo. And what happens is ink, when you twist it into your juicy ink pad, ink goes up the side of your letter. So when you also overpress, it ends up haloing what you've got. So when you think of it like that, it makes more sense. It's kind of funny. When I was teaching my niece how to stamp, my nephew was in the room, and I was telling her, listen, just kiss the ink. You don't want to squish it or anything. And he said, oh, really, May May? What next? Marry it? I said, there's some inks I'd marry. <laughs> Good old Ford. Good old Ford. That's exactly right. What's next, May May? Marry it? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if you know, but you don't, have to kiss, you don't have to marry everybody you kiss. He was young. He might not realize that yet. Oh, and look when you have to clean it up. When you over ink, see how it runs down the sides? That's too much. You don't want to do all that. Because now this is going to need to be, this, that's not going to, that's going to have to be scrubbed. Cool beans, right? Cool beans. All right, that's your, that's your project for today. Over stamp equals all over your hand too. True. For me though, stamping equals all my hands. I'm just that person. <laughs> I love when it's winter time and I can stamp with sleeves because typically the ink gets on my sleeve and doesn't go back and it'll dry and I don't, but I'm going to put, if I leave an ink pad on my desk, my elbow's going in it. Not my elbow, but this section of my arm is going in it. All right, guys, those are my tips and tricks for that one. I think that's all I can tell you about that one. But, oh, thanks, Cheryl. She said, May May, thanks. You and your team are awesome. I appreciate you very much. We're going to head to the after show. How, how do I do on time? Oh, my goodness, right on time. If you've never been here before and you wonder what the after show is, that's a show where we can talk about anything we want to talk about. So we show some things that come to us from our subscribers from across the miles. We show you any new product we've got, and we've got three new paper packs. that Well, two now because I showed you one. We've got two new paper packs you're going to love. Um, the logo impressibles came in, so check those out. I'm going to show you those in a second. And I've got something exciting to tell you about for Black Friday that I think you're going to want to be a part of. So come to the after show. There's a link in the chat right there if you want to hit that one. And Tamitha, do you mind putting a link in the comments, like pin a comment with a link? Some people were telling me that afterwards they have trouble finding the link. But if we pinned it in the top comment on YouTube, they'd be able to find it. All right, guys, we'll see you there in just a few minutes. Bye now.